I'm happy to be able to take you through this creative color grading look pack we've named Rosemary. We've created a bunch of 3D LUT profiles based on a lifted blacks look that go through a wide variety of hue transformations. Now, we've named them all after herbs and spices as a little nod to all the flavors you're gonna find in this pack. Now, these profiles exist equally in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm gonna be doing the Lightroom workflow. I'm gonna take a look at this first image and let's see how they work. So open my first image in the develop module. And this is already nicely balanced. I don't need to do anything to bring this into a good starting point. So I'm gonna go directly in, start checking out these looks. I've got my base color look favorited here. This palette is gonna look probably a little different than yours. I've got it simplified for the demo, but all of my looks are loaded right here. Let's go right into the look, into Sage, the first one. Now remember, I can just mouse over color to see my before, after. You can automatically see that the first look, Sage, is really crunching the blacks quite a bit, putting some darker tones into the grass areas, darkening some of the stuff, adding some contrast, um, pumping up the reds. That's cool, good look. There's Sage moving on to Mint, which does what it says. It, it pushes the, the greens a little bit uh, cooler. Mustard, really cool. I like what's happening in the dark areas there and uh, the change in the grass is pretty drastic. Just do before and after on that. That's getting a lot of interest into the grass, a lot of different hues that are really nice and subtle. Cumin, even more desaturation. Cardamom, which is moving more into a fantasy treatment look. Cayenne, really cool. Lavender, even further off the beaten track. In the purples, paprika, kind of toning it back down a bit. Tarragon's cool, because that's another interesting split tone. It looks like it's putting some green into the dark areas. And thyme, really adding some more punch and some more split tone with some cool hues in the, in the dark areas. So right off the bat, I think the one I'm feeling the most is mustard. And Mustard's doing this great job of homogenizing the hues in the green areas, reducing that saturation. That's a nice thing that's happening because the green is the dominant hue in the image. So it's nice to get that a little bit understated, tamped down a bit, because that's playing off the red in the hair too, which is the hot pop of color in this image. And that's really where our attention is drawn by that really highly saturated color and small area of high contrast. So those are all good results. But overall, I think it's strong. So I'm gonna reduce it just a touch using the amount slider. The fact that they are strong up front is great because I can see what they're doing on my image really quickly, and then I can dial it back to my taste. So the only wild hue that I haven't really gotten under control or made a choice about is the blue that's happening back here. Everything else is pretty intentional, but that's just sort of left over from the image and we haven't made a choice about that. So the choice that I really wanna make is to desaturate the blues back here. I wanna get them out of the mix. So I'm gonna open up my HSL color dropdown, go into saturation and really quickly just drag the blues out of there. So you see how that really simplified the focus because that's the beauty of being able to work in this way using Camera Raw and Lightroom. You can use all these controls to fine tune an image that you applied one of these creative profiles to. So I've got this other image that's quite a bit different. I'm going to open that up next and see what these looks do. Open this image up in the develop module. Now this one's coming in I think uh, just a touch overexposed. So I'm going to drag the exposure down just a bit. And it kind of filled in the shadows a little bit too much. So I'm gonna open those back up just a touch. Maybe see if I can recover a little bit of highlight information up there. And go directly into exploring these cool looks. In this image, we've got this pale pink background and the greens are really cool here. We've got the suit that the guy's wearing sort of talking to hue-wise to the foliage 
back there. So I'm going to be paying close attention to how those elements react, kind of keeping that style in my mind as I go through these looks. Sage really darkens things down quite a bit, a lot more rich. Mint doesn't do a big shift because the green shift that's happening is just basically going a touch cooler. Mustard now is doing quite a bit. Cumin, and that's mellowing things out quite a lot in a cool way that I really like. Cardamom, warmer. Cayenne, even wilder. But you remember how cayenne worked really strongly to create a big hue transformation in the previous image. This one is just introducing some cool red hues into the bush here. That's cool and unexpected. Lavender, doing what it says, bringing some purple in. Paprika is bringing everything down a couple notches. Tarragon's doing some wild stuff. That's really punching a lot of green into the mid to dark tones. And time doing a lot of wild work too. I think the one that spoke to me most was cumin. Yeah, definitely. I might want to pull that back just a bit too. Now it's really important to do that before and after for me because looking through all these looks, I can get my eyes can get a little bit numb because I'm looking at so much stuff. But before, definitely the rock capture. After, a story and a level of polish that I could easily just click OK and go with. Now it's important to see what's happening here. We've got the greens in here in the foliage are quite yellow, and the greens in his suit are pretty minty and quite a bit cooler. So what we've done with this look is taken those hues and homogenized them, push them together. So they really have a bit more conversation between each other. I dialed that back a bit and I'm happy with this look. I can go into Photoshop and edit it some more, or I can just click okay and move on to the next image. So there's a look at the Rosemary Creative Color Grading Pack in Lightroom workflow. You can see all the really cool variety we've got baked into this pack, so I hope you can go out and make some really cool pictures with it. Mm -hmm.